Hiya, my name is Elizabeth. I'm a medical student and an artist living in London and in this video I will go through five of my favourite apps that make up my workflow in under a minute each. Number one has got to be Notion. It is an organisational tool. The way I would define it is a Microsoft Word meets Microsoft Excel meets Tasklist meets Anki meets Notability meets Moodboard. It is everything you could have wanted from an app in one place. It's so, so good. I use it because nothing is as organised, beautiful and has as good of a workflow as Notion does. I use it for absolutely everything. Lectures, notes, flashcards, projects, book notes, um, it's my gym tracker, philosophy, art, YouTube now, every part of my life is on Notion. My next app is Tech Sniper. This will allow you to select part of the screen, which is an image, and it will convert it immediately into text that is then copied onto your clipboard. So hopefully you can see where I'm going with this. If there is a lecture on the screen, I can just screenshot part of the screen and immediately it will turn into text that I can then copy and paste onto Notion for me or wherever you're taking your notes in. So you don't need to type things out from images and it saves so much time. It's especially useful for lectures, also when people share links and expect you to write them out into your browser, which I find really annoying. This this helps a lot with that. My next app is Speechify and this is probably after Notion my favourite. This is an app which will convert text into speech. Basically, this is how I get free audiobooks. I might make a whole video on it on its own because it's so incredible. It's an app originally developed for people with dyslexia, but it's so, so helpful for literally everyone on the planet. You basically upload a PDF file or whatever sort of text that you want, and it will read it out loud to you. The reason it's so incredible is that listening to things is so much faster than reading. It's so much easier to increase the speed with which it's said rather than to kind of train yourself to read faster. Through training myself using this app, for example, now I only listen to YouTube videos at three or four times the speed and I can read so 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 much faster. I use it mostly for books that I don't enjoy reading so this is not my pleasure reading time, this is things that I need to learn. I also use it for legislation or things that I need to read for work that are just really tiring and I'll just get someone to read them out loud for me basically which is really really helpful and because they have quite recent AI technology reading the text out loud it doesn't sound as bad as Google. It's really good. The next app is Liner. This is quite difficult to explain but basically it will allow you to edit web pages so if there's something that I have open on a web page, I can highlight it, I can make notes in it, and all of these will be saved for me. So you don't have to download a page as a PDF or copy text from one web page onto another site and edit it there and lose the formatting, but you can work on the web page immediately because it's like a browser extension. I use it when I read cool articles or cool blog posts, or especially for PubMed, this is so great because I'll highlight parts of the study that are relevant to me, and then they all will be summarized together. So my highlights will come into one place and they'll have they'll be linked back to the original page. For me it's kind of like opened up the internet in a different way because things are not only there but they're mine to edit the way that I want to if that makes sense so it's such a useful tool. The next and final app has got to be Anki. This is basically a flashcard app and I know that there are so many out there but in my opinion this one is just the best. I use it for memorizing little bits of information that are particularly annoying so um, if there's something that it's not a concept but it's just a number or a piece of anatomy or just something that I need to learn that takes no intelligence but just memorization, which is a huge part of medicine, um, I will put this, create a flashcard and put this in Anki. It's super convenient because it's on my phone, so if I have any sort of empty space or time, and this might be when I'm traveling places on the bus or tube, or if I'm just lying in bed and I don't have my laptop on me, if I'm standing around for no reason in the hospital, if I'm having a really boring and lonely socially distanced lunch, I will just go through Anki and do a free flashcard throughout the day and that's a good way to kind of add on those learning minutes. Yeah, this was all five of them. I hope you found this video helpful at all. Um, if you use these apps already or in different ways, let me know. If you made it so far, honestly, thank you so much for spending this time with me and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Um, be kind to yourself and others and don't believe everything you think. Thanks. Bye.